Oh my god. Doomsday! Xena! My god! We're fucked. We're fucked. Xena's gonna come, enter our orbit, do a whole bunch of crazy awesome stuff, and then we're gonna die. That's how it's gonna happen. Oh, and apparently comments are gonna go kaboom, boom, boom, and we're gonna die. Planet Ares is named after the Greek god as an astronaut who initiated the Trojan War. I have this video in my favorite section of my profile, but uh, I don't think people really look at those, even though I think I have some awesome stuff in there. Uh, I had a dream about this last night, and I just woke up, so I'm going to be sounding a little, I don't know, stuttery. But I had a dream about this, and I kind of wanted to make a video about it because, uh, I mean, it's interesting to me. I mean, you people don't really, probably don't really care. Which, I mean, is good, because you, know, you shouldn't care about stupid stuff like this, especially if it's, like, you th you're gullible and you think it's real. Um, yeah, so keep playing your Warcraft. So the big deal with this uh, Ares planet is that uh, these people are making, I don't know if it's true or not, but I'll show you in the next slide here, yeah. Um, this is the... Okay, apparently, though, okay, this is the orbit of Planet X. Apparently this orbit takes, like, 560-something years to do. Whereas ours only takes like a 365 days or something. So, this planet only comes around every fucking once in a while. And, according to the scientists, it's almost at its maximum distance right now. It should be like right about here. So, I don't know why these people are so worked up about it's going to come back in like four years, all the way back over here, and kill us, get in our orbit, and go ape shit and just rape everyone. I don't know, it's going to take more time to get over here. It's, 2012 is going to be probably like right here. It's going to be at its maximum distance, well, maybe close to. It's not going to come all the way back just to fuck us up in one year. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry. You lose. Fail. The ancient Sumerian test described the planet of what they called Nibiru, or the planet of crossing, which I find actually kind of funny and interesting. Uh... I wish they would, like, zoom out the scene completely and then let you see it, but they just kind of fade out before it zooms out all the way. So what does that mean? I don't know. You didn't let me see. You zoomed out. You didn't zoom out enough. If the twelfth planet's orbit does, in fact, cross Earth's orbit, it could potentially throw Earth off orbit. But here's the most likely scenario, of course, by SaintBrigida.com, scientifically sound. The planet would approach and enter Earth's orbit. Unnecessary animation. I mean, it's just for dramatic effect, but I'd like to know the actual scientific, like, theory of how they think this is going to happen. We gonna get raped. The magnetic pull of the planet would cause Earth to slow down and actually stop rotating. It might. Thing is, is that. I don't think that's actually true, to a certain degree. Um, it's not even guaranteed that it's going to hit us in the first place because, uh, like, we're going to be on the opposite side of the sun, and it could like really come in from over here, and then by the time that happens, we'll be kind of crossing the same way. It's just, it's pretty unlikely. And even if it does happen, it's going to be long before or long after we're dead. So there's no need to worry about it. But uh, if it comes in from our side, like the side that we're rotating from, like I think it rotates this way, like kinda down there, from here, down there, and it keeps going like that. Um, if it, if it comes in from this way, like from, uh, I don't know, here, and it kinda fucks with our orbit, then yeah, I can see it slowing down. But if it comes in from the way that we're turning anyway, I don't think it's gonna happen. It might make us spin faster, that'd be funny. But I don't think it's going to make us completely stop. Zoom in. I wouldn't mind seeing the Earth just stop or go even faster. Sun will be dark in the moon and I'll give us light and the stars fall from the sky. Praise Jesus. Whoa. Okay, look, look, look. Hold on. Uh. There's stuff in the background right back there, but they don't want you to see that. They want you to see more scripture. Yay, scripture. Saint Brigida. Can't live without it. Meteors and comets would most likely be thrown towards the Earth. Why? Why? Can you tell me why? No, you're just gonna 
Yeah, you get more scripture, right? Um, no, that's not gonna happen. The the, the meeting of two planets is not gonna call forth rituals and demons and shit, make meteors, all the meteors in the universe just hurl towards us at the same time. It's not gonna happen. Ugh. Disgusting. Alright. Let's keep going. I mean, do you see meteors nowadays? I don't see why the two planets meeting would cause any extra ones. That's pretty cool animation. I mean, I like it, but it's unnecessary again. Boom, bitch. I say that, that that that's a big explosion. And the name of that star called Woodworm. Um I don't think there's wood or worms in stars. And when the earth find again to finally rotate again, it would most likely rotate in the opposite direction. <gasps> Why? Why would it do that? Why? Oh, more pointless animation, right. No, it wouldn't. No no no. Because, uh, from what I can remember, the, uh, the Earth has been rotating one way for, like, a billion, million, zillion years. Um, and apparently this planet has crossed us before, because it's in our orbit, so it's obviously crossing us once in a while. Um, so, I don't think any of these other previous times has caused us to spin in the opposite direction. Because I'm pretty sure whatever direction the sun wants us to spin, we're gonna fucking spin. Where the sun's bitch. Go, 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 go. That's what she said. Oh, God, Bill. Oh, God, Bill. Ugh. Okay, another pointless animation. Like, there's stuff in the background. I want to see it, but the scripture's in the way, and I can't see it. It's stupid. There'll be massive landslides, earthquakes, and hurricanes as a result. Why? Please tell me why. You gonna tell me why this time? No, you're not going to. You're just gonna show. I mean, I don't see why spinning in the opposite direction would cause a whole bunch of shit happening, but I don't know. Maybe there's something that I'm missing. But this is the thing that I have a problem with. Unless this is amazingly created and edited and animated, this has happened before. This has happened without a planet entering our orbit. So. Why are you showing this instead of an animation like back here of shit going wrong again? But no, you're just showing the same stuff that's happened before on our planet without Ares in our orbit. So I don't see why anything like this would be different. Aw, trees. 80% of humanity would most likely not survive. <laughs> oh, what, huh? Oh, satellite and computer technology wouldn't survive either. Oh, no. And mankind wouldn't be thrust into the Stone Era. Stone Age Era once again. No, 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 no. <sighs> if if 80% of humanity would most likely not survive, 20% would. 20% would. And I'm pretty sure... Well, I mean, it's kind of hard to pick this out nowadays, but I'm pretty sure in that 20% of people still living, there's going to be a few smart people. A few, a few smart people who know how to make computers and how to build stuff and archaeologists and, you know, and, and, and technicians and all this engineers and carpenters. and I think they know what the hell they'd be doing if 20% still survived. I don't think we'd be thrown into the Stone Age, Stone Age era once again. Maybe for like a few like years maybe because all of our shit's destroyed but there's nothing stopping us from redoing it all again right right and that's the end of our show donk Jesus no I didn't think so Jesus